Hi, I'm Kurt McDonald and this is Nature Says. It's a common dream of business owners everywhere to transform that faint glimmer of an entrepreneurial idea into a worldwide brand. Basically to start with a napkin drawing and infinitely expand products, extend reach and spread into every sector imaginable until the skyline of every major city is emblazoned with your name and logo. And why not? If one product is good, well shouldn't two be better? And if one storefront is profitable, well, shouldn't two reap greater rewards? And finally, if Honda can make cars and motorcycles, lawnmowers and industrial engines, thin film solar cells and lifelike humanoid robots, well, shouldn't you? In capitalism, it seems it's all about scaling and expanding. But is that always the best path forward? I mean, it could be, but don't be fooled into thinking that yes is always the right answer. Meet Traculophorus giraffea, or the long-necked giraffe weevil. This odd-looking beetle belongs to the class of organisms called Insecta, the largest and most diverse class of animals on the planet. Over one million distinct insect species have been formally named, with millions more, perhaps 10 million more, awaiting discovery. From this vantage point, diversification seems to be right in the insect's wheelhouse. I mean, insects, they seem to be nature's natural entrepreneurs. Knowing this penchant for expansion, Perhaps I picked the wrong illustrative animal to make my point. But wait, not so fast. Travel every inch of the globe and the only place you'll see a wild giraffe weevil is in Madagascar. Yeah, Madagascar, the island responsible for a whopping 0.4% of Earth's above water land mass. But it gets even more restricted because on Madagascar, the giraffe weevil takes up residence on a single species of tree. And this isn't because it was eradicated everywhere else or because it has limited mobility. It can, despite this ungainly appearance, fly after all. So why in the world would the giraffe weevil remain constrained to such a small niche when it could follow in the footsteps of its insect brethren and set its sights on global expansion? Well, the easy and correct answer is because it has been and remains successful. It's working. Giraffe weevils are enjoying reproductive success. They're having offspring and they're contributing their legacy by passing to those offspring increased specializations made possible exclusively by living in such a well-defined niche. You see, the giraffe weevil is an expert at understanding and thriving in its environment. And as such, it's developed specializations to take full advantage of its market. For example, her beautiful protagonist has evolved metabolic enzymes optimized to digest tissues of the tree. It has this ridiculously long neck refined for, among other things, getting the leverage necessary to roll tubes out of the tree's leaves, tubes into which female weevils will deposit a single fertilized egg. The encased larvae will develop and hatch in relative protection, and when it emerges from its egg, it will find itself wrapped up in a toasty and nutritious blanket that it's optimally designed to eat. And while it's true that the giraffe weevil's fate is tied to its focused existence, well, that's a trade-off that's worked in the weevil's favor. Trust me, I know the dream of worldwide domination and how captivating it can be, but let's look at it realistically. Reports suggest that 80 to 90% of businesses fail, many by trying to expand too much too quickly. They forge ahead by marketing to customers they don't know, enter into markets they don't understand, and produce products simply to get more SKUs. It's as if our giraffe weevil got a directive from its shareholders to immediately expand into Sonoran desert cacti, a venture bound to fail. Given that scaling introduces novel challenges and puts unique pressures on businesses, don't get caught up in the glorified headlines that make hasty expansion seem like the end-all be-all objective for every business owner. Take a lesson from the giraffe weevil and appreciate that being successfully adapted to a known niche is infinitely preferable to expanding yourself into extinction. To help me find my niche, consider recommending this video to someone you think might enjoy it. I mean, simply copy the above URL, paste it into an email, and press send. And I'll see you next time on Nature Says.